Hey, I'm FTFE, and welcome back to the channel that throws stupidity into the Sarlacc pit of knowledge. Introducing the Moron of the Week, right the hand, not only a flat earth crayon muncher, but a Karen of epic proportions. This video will be a little bit different from the normal first nonsense as we cover a meltdown from inside a Goodwill shop over wearing a mask during a global pandemic instead of someone denying gravity and saying, it's flat bro. But trust me, there's just as much stupid. Welcome to episode 47 of Flurfs Are Idiots. We're living on a disc. Floating through space with a tiny sun. Thank you for joining me once again as we look at the reason why aliens won't talk to us. Stupid people. And boy, is right the hand stupid. So stupid, in fact, that he once made the claim that because 99% of men would beat 99% of women in a fight, it is irresponsible to teach a woman self-defense and said that even a pro female MMA fighter versus him would be 80% to 20% in his favor. Pro female MMA star Tara La Rosa heard about what he said. Before we start, shall we see how that meeting went? I could watch that all day. I've created a timestamp that goes to the beginning of that and put it in the description so you can watch it over and over and over. Feel free to spread the link to any Discord server that Left the Foot hangs out in. Okay, let's have a look at his freak out in a Goodwill store of all places. Face palm warnings, some extra special stupid is coming your way. All right, we gotta keep this recording just so we know, you know, we don't want anybody doing anything stupid. I already had that guy, if you can kind of see him, he, he was screaming. He came up to me screaming, bro. He was coming in hot. Put the fucking mask on. You gotta put the fucking mask on. And yes, whoever they were, were right. Put on a fucking mask. We're in the midst of a global pandemic that has killed over 650,000 people. The least that you can do is wear a fucking mask in a store. But yo, bro, you gotta calm down, man. You gotta tell, I'm not your, I'm not your son. You're gonna tell me what to do. You know, what do you walk around the street telling people to put their seatbelts on? I won't tell somebody to wear a seatbelt unless they are in my car, because in a situation like that, I am directly responsible for their safety. And I could also get a ticket. And it's the same right now with everyone. We are all responsible for everyone else's safety because we might be carrying a deadly pathogen that's infected over 16 million people worldwide. So I think I have every right to tell you or any other idiot that is stupid enough to go into a store or crowded place not wearing a mask to put one on or get the fuck out. And plus the seatbelt's a law, it's not an ordinance. You don't have to fucking follow ordinances, you have to follow the law. What? What are you shaking your head at? What are you shaking your head at? Look at this is this is one of the you're going on YouTube. I got a pretty big YouTube channel. Did you just say that you've got a pretty big YouTube channel? Really? Let's have a look. At the time of recording, you have a whopping 365 subscribers. Why do all flat earthers lie about everything? You, however, are now on a YouTube channel with over 36,000 subscribers. 
and will be seen by many, many people acting like a complete tool. I'd be shaking my head at you as well, because right the hand, you're a fucking idiot. Look at this mask. You don't even know who she is because she got a face diaper on. This woman put this on voluntarily. It's not a law. They just said, hey, put a face diaper on. And she's like, okay. I honestly don't know that much about United States law, but it really doesn't matter if it's a law or not because you're in a Goodwill store. And according to the Goodwill website, local Goodwills may require the use of a mask in stores and career centers in accordance with state and local ordinances and based on current guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So, if the store says that you need to wear a mask to go in there, you wear a fucking mask to go in there. And any judgment that you get from people that don't want to spread SARS-CoV-2 is entirely justified, you fucking moron. And then she told me that I was dangerous to her because of the breath. The, she probably doesn't, she probably stays six feet from her own grandchildren. She probably doesn't even hug. You do, you don't even hug your own grand. She, look, tell, hon, tell everybody how you don't hug your own grandchildren. What kind of a piece of shit are you? Accosting an elderly woman and shoving a camera in her face. She probably doesn't hug her grandchildren because she has more than the single digit IQ than you do and realizes that because of her being elderly, she has a higher chance of dying if she were to catch it. Better to have a grandmother you can't hug right now than attending her funeral, you fucking dipshit. Seriously, right the Karen. Was there a point that as a child, you laid down on the road and a truck ran over your skull? Cause you're a fucking moron. I don't. You don't, yeah, cause you're a horrible mother. Yeah, I know. I would hug my grandchildren. Yeah, physical, for human physical contact. Listen to these devil people. They're saying they don't hug their own grandchildren and they're proud of it. And she should be proud of it. She doesn't want to die and possibly kill her grandkids. You, however, are a teen killing fucktart who only cares about himself. Wear a fucking mask. This woman is proud, pride, prideful how she doesn't hug or touch her grandchildren. Could you imagine what's going through your head that you go, you know what, I'm happy I don't have to touch my grandkids. This is crazy the world we're living in. No, you brain dead window licker, she isn't happy. It probably breaks her heart, but we are in a global pandemic the likes we've not seen in generations. So she is doing her bit to try and slow the spread of the virus. What's hard to understand? Oh yeah, you don't understand anything, do you? You're a flat earther. Um, Vince, apparently they prefer the word retard. Hey? Oh, how very quaint. This woman is not, now she's got to come back over to me because she's got to have the last word. What do you let, you don't, go, go non-touch your children, all right? Go ignore your grandchildren. Don't, don't, you're giving, you're giving me more attention than you're giving your grandchildren. Look, look at her, look at her, look at her. She's giving me the attention she should be giving her grandchildren. It looks like no one ever paid you attention as a child. Your parents never taught you to be a decent person and your teachers probably gave up on you when they realized that you had to take off your shoes and socks to count past 10. Why don't you give your grandchildren some of this attention? Uh, uh, speechless, you, you don't, I know, I know. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna kill my grandmother? Right, yeah, this lady thinks, she, this, the, the government has convinced this woman that if she hangs out with her, her grandchildren, she's gonna kill them. The government are going on advice from medical professionals. The government are trying to limit the spread of a horrible disease that makes you feel like you're drowning as it kills you. And even if you survive, can leave you with lifelong damage to your lungs. That lady is smarter than you will ever be, a better person than you will ever be, and cares about others more than you ever could. Put on a fucking mask you team killing fucktard. This is what she just told, she just told me this. She says, if you hang out with your grandmother, you're gonna kill her. Are you retarded? You must be retarded if you think you're going to kill your grandmother because you're hanging out with her. It's not hanging out with her that's going to kill her. It's passing on to her a virus that could kill her. And how do we stop that from happening? We don't go and see people that are more likely to die for their sake. You fucking spanner. Come on, people. Come on. You know, I call the cops on all of you. I was, discrim I was discriminated against by that African-American lady. This African-American lady right here discriminated against me because I was white. Excuse me. Uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Are you fucking serious? For real? Not only have you called the cops because you've been told to put a mask on, but you're saying that the African-American lady that works at the store discriminated against you for being white by asking you to wear a mask in line with store policy. I've only seen other white people in the store so far and she was doing her job. 
What the hell is wrong with you, you absolute bellend? Because I'm wearing white. She is a racist. She, I was the only person in the store she came up to. Is it a coincidence that I'm white and she's black? I don't think so. The reason you were the one that she came up to is because you're the only mouth breather there not wearing a fucking mask. Were you starved of oxygen during birth? Did you give away your brain for research? How are you walking and talking at the same time? Racism, they're trying to like, they're trying to uh, break the classes up. Okay, I don't I don't care about race. She does. This woman cares about race. I didn't come up to any black people that were in the store and say, hey, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. But she felt it on her to come up to a white person and tell them, tell me how sh I should live my life. She told you to wear a fucking mask, Karen. It's not only her job, but hers and everyone's responsibility to wear masks in places like that to slow the spread of a killer virus. The fact that you're trying to pull the race card when you're white and Everyone else in the store is white, apart from that one member of staff. I say this on behalf of all decent humans. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Put on a mask. That's strange, isn't it? That's real strange, man. I wonder what she would say if I came up to her black son or black daughter and told him that he should do something with his life. She'd probably have a real problem with that. I bet she would. Now, this is speaking as a parent, but if my son went into a shop and wasn't wearing a mask and someone came up to him and told him he should be wearing a mask, I'd thank that person and tell my son that they are absolutely right. It is everyone's responsibility to help slow the spread of the virus. And if that means politely reminding somebody to wear a mask in public, then that's not an issue. But then my son isn't a fucking idiot. I wouldn't go into a store during a global pandemic without wearing a mask. I bet she would. That woman right there, you don't even know who she is. She's not even a real person. They're faceless, maskless people talking about how they're going to kill their grandmothers if they hang out with them. How disrespectful do you have to be? She's right there and you're talking about her like she isn't. I'd have thrown you out the storm myself on her behalf. This is the world we live in, huh? This is the world you want to live in? Where you can't touch your grandma because you're going to kill her? You can't hug your grandchildren because you're going to kill her? You got to cover your face? Bank robbers cover their face. Right? We're waiting on the cops. I'm the only person that has his face uncovered. No, none of us want to live in that world. Unfortunately, we are in a world where hugging your grandmother could kill her. And you're the only one not wearing a mask because you think it's okay to kill other people, I guess. <laughs> they talk about how things should be. Come on, man. Come on, people. What are, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? This is insanity. This is insane. People, people have lost their marbles. They have lost their marbles, bro. They're going around covering the holes that they get breath and air in and then screaming at me because I'm not. A mask doesn't stop you getting any breath in, you waste of photosynthesis. My sidekick, Team Skeptic, recently did a video where he wore a mask the entire time he spent recording it and checked his oxygen levels throughout. His oxygen levels didn't drop. There is no excuse to not wear a mask in a store that requires it. And it's not even a law. And look at them. Look at them think they're sitting over there. They think they're heroes. We're, we're protecting the innocent. We're like fucking Batman. Look at them. They're retards. They're covering their face because some government official told them to. And it's not even a law. That's the beauty part. It's not even a law. It's a recommendation. Again, I don't live on that side of the pond, so I'm not in a position to comment on the laws. But I imagine it's similar to where I live in Scotland, where people must, by law, wear a face covering in shops and on public transport and public transport premises such as railways, bus stations and airports. This is to protect other people from you. I honestly don't imagine you're the kind of person who even remembers to wash their hands after taking a shit. So God knows if you're carrying the virus. And the only way to be sure to not spread it to me when you're out and about shopping is to cover your fucking face. Although in your case, I'd suggest just staying away from civilization. Do us all a permanent favor. You're filming me too? Look, you cover your face over a, a suggestion. You're ridiculous. Why don't you leave the store? Because, bro, I was scared. I was approached by 50 people. You started laughing and surrounding me. How am I gonna leave the store? I might get jumped. Yeah, I bet people were pointing at you and recording you. We all enjoy laughing at an idiot being an idiot. Bro, I was the only sane person. I had my hands down. This guy comes out of left field screaming like a lunatic. You people need to learn what, what's what, man. I was the one that was calm. This, this black lady came up to a white person. She caused race problems. And you're over here like, oh, wow, what's going on? A store worker did her job and civic responsibility by telling you to put on a goddamn mask. Any sane, 
normal, decent human would have done the same thing. What do you, why don't you just understand it's not a law? Why can't you understand that? You're such a sheep. You'll do whatever they tell you. You ever see Bird Box? Ma'am, you ever see Bird Box? Yeah, I, yeah, you'll just judge me, right? You, you won't learn about me, you'll just judge me. Yep, she's gonna judge you. I'm gonna judge you. Everyone in that store is gonna judge you. Everybody watching this video is going to judge you because you're subhuman trash. You don't wanna know why, you'll just judge me. This is what we live with. They're judging me. Oh, he won't put on a mask. Maybe he's got a ment he's got a respiratory disorder, right? Maybe there's something wrong with him. Look at this, cops taking 400 years to get here, man. Come on, what else they got better to do? This is crazy. This is crazy. Karen, if you've got a respiratory problem, which you don't, you haven't stopped flapping your lips for like five minutes straight, but if you did, maybe going out in public in the middle of a global pandemic isn't the best idea. Maybe you should have someone else do your shopping for you. I'm sure that you can order your extra large dildos online, right, the Karen? Just go and do that. And honestly, guys, that's all the stupid that I can take for today. If you want to see more about Write the Karen, then I would advise you to go to Glober Mum's channel and see her covering this epic meltdown and stupidity. Just before I go, I want to say a massive thank you to all my channel members and patrons. I could not keep doing what I do without the support and encouragement that you guys give me. It truly means the world. If you're on Discord, there is a special section in my server just for you and top level patrons and members can contact me for some free merch. If you'd like to support this channel, you can become a member by clicking on the join button next to the subscribe button or become a patron at patreon.com forward slash FTFE. And thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Flurfs Are Idiots. If you did, why not leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell and set it to all so you never miss anything from FTFE. And remember, Stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the fight.